I have a story to tell today. This is for people that use vehicles for hauling stuff, you know, heavy lifting and heavy pulling, things like that. So for people like that, you know, some people own a spare vehicle, a towing vehicle, which might be not a spare, might just be your everyday vehicle, depending on whether you do that, you know, for a living or if you just do that once in a while. I think a lot of us usually end up renting a vehicle for a specific purpose for a short time if you don't need it every day. For example, I don't need a vehicle that can tow every day or that can seat seven people, but every once in a while you want to get that. My go-to is usually enterprise car rental. So here's the challenge though. When you need to rent a vehicle like this from enterprise, if you told them, hey, I need a large SUV that can hold my family and also tow, they'll tell you, no, none of our vehicles are equipped to do that. They will direct you to enterprise commercial. Enterprise commercial usually has larger pickup trucks. I don't think they have SUVs. Usually they have the pickup trucks and I think they usually like F-250, F-350, right around there, you know, and comparable um, from different brands. I don't know if they usually have F-150s, but I know that Enterprise car rental, the normal one, the you know, call it the family one, usually has F-150s as an example. They have those and they have your economy cars, they have your minivans, and I think in larger cities they also have luxury vehicles. Personally, you know, for the most part I'm a sedan guy and I get everything I need here. Every once in a while you need that. So, for example, the one we're looking at here is an Armada. In the past, if I needed uh, access to a tow hitch, I would tell them, hey, you know, you call them and tell them I need one that can, with the tow hitch, they say, well, we can't tow. And I said, no, actually what I need to do is to carry my bicycles in the back. So I need to use a, a, tow, a tow hitch mounted bike carrier. And they're like, well, our Tahoe has one. So the, the location I usually deal with, they usually have a Tahoe. Well, the Tahoes that they usually have in this city usually have exposed tow hitches. The Armadas, which, again, Nissan being a car rental brand, usually they don't, you know, they tell you we don't have tow hitches for that. So yesterday, for whatever reason, I was trying to... I was trying to rent a vehicle and I couldn't get any, although that is online. Although when I went, I know that whenever I drove by them, I would usually see some SUVs. So I went and took a look. And in this case, there was, I think, two Armadas and an Expedition. And what happened is I got just curious, you know, because the Tahoes, there were no Tahoes over there, no Chevy Tahoes. And I decided, well, let me just check. I, I can't believe that they have all these vehicles over there with no uh, tow hitches or tow hitch receivers. So what I did was I just went there, went under the vehicles and sure, none of the pickup trucks had any tow, um, any tow hitches. It's official word, a hitch or a receiver, I'm not sure. But then for the expedition and this armada, what I did was I just crawled underneath and I knew that this trim piece over here usually covered the hitch, got under the vehicles, thankfully they're pretty tall, and started immediately getting excited because I could see this wiring. And when you follow the wiring, it looks like it terminates onto this piece over here. And this terminal, I don't think it would be serving any of the purpose except towing services. So I looked at that. Not only that, though, um, thankfully, it's integrated into the into the frame of the of the of the SUV or the truck, if you call SUVs trucks. And where's my hand? I can't see it. There you go. So as it comes around back here, there's a there's a receiver right over here, and I'm having a hard time because of the lighting. And it was all pretty hard to see, to tell. See this little half circle thing, loop? Actually, a lot further up, there's, and I can, I can feel that hole. This hole right here is the one that lets the, the toe hitch, the one, the, the ball, ball, ball hitch or whatever. Pardon me for using the wrong terms, but call everything a hitch related to this. And here's another hole, can you see that? So these, these features told me that this vehicle here certainly has a um it certainly has a, a whatever it can tow right so how do we get to it get a little creative with the process which i believe is how everybody does it but obviously for whatever liability purposes they choose not to advertise the capabilities 
All right, I'm back. The phone cut out. All right, so we've got two screws over here, 10 millimeter for the Armada. I never got to do this for the for the expedition, but if we can locate that. So here's the first one, 10 millimeter. And down it goes, and here's the second one. And then, what you're going to do at this point is just pull this one backwards. It's pretty tight, huh? I feel like there should be another gap somewhere. Okay, there you go. I can see them. Try to figure out the best way to swing them out. Seems like it would work better with two hands working. Well, there you go nice good pull so I guess the center the center uh, the two central pieces the two middle pieces kind of have to swing in but the other ones on the side just push right in let's, let's put them back in and try it again oh it's right here I think once you're capable of towing anything and coordinating the towing process you should be able to do that so yeah there it is so pull again like pull the sides <laughs> and be careful as you pull there's this on the other side so you might end up grabbing something seems safer to do it on the right side but yeah there you go so and as you can see let me get my flight no I need it for the flashlight there it is there is my tow tow hitch receiver and I guess you can knock this one out but it's adapted to to the size to your common sizes no no this is just a collar never mind it is your standard two inch and i do have one of these to try so over here it tells you that you should see the owner's manual for vehicle towing capacity and that's what we're going to do rentals usually have the owner owner's manuals in the glove box yep right here and this is a 2020 Armada, if I remember correctly. This is gonna have to be in the technical and consumer information, which is section 10. That's eight, nine, 10. Yeah, right around here. This is where it tells you oil change and all that other stuff. So towing capacity, towing capacity, towing a trailer 1017. Right, oh man, I thought I had it. Okay, I'll just go backwards. 1017, this is where it starts talking about it. But you'll be talking about maximum limits and all that. But what I'm looking for is actually right here. 1021 of the 2020 manual. It tells you maximum tone, so maximum tone capacity, 8,500 pounds. Tongue weight, 850 pounds. And we've got other numbers that I'm not dealing with today. So... 8,500 is my safe towing capacity. And what I have here is a cart hitch. My cart hitch over here is rated for 7,500. So at least I know what my bounds are. Insert that in there. Just eyeball it. go and the pin for safety perfect so there you go that's the hardware then you gotta get uh, your electrical connections over here and this pin right here the excuse, I thought it was a five but oh well whatever see this uh, this plug over here if you were using something like a u-haul trailer they usually just have the regular ones um, which means you have to get an adapter from this onto your trailer and most places that will uh, rent you rent a trailer to you let you borrow the trailer rent the trailer will usually have those adapters so i hope this video is helpful uh in a way my intention was to show you that things are possible you just have to think creatively and be willing to i guess get a little dirty just go to the lot that you're intending to get a 
a, a truck from and go check underneath and then check this one out this one is all like welded in there it's not like something they can remove so I'd, I'd go out on a limb and say that all armadas that you can rent from Enterprise usually have uh, capability to tow. But as I said, obviously for reasons best known to them, they would rather not tell you about it. And neither am I telling you to use this to break any, any laws or rules or agreements that you have. But I'm not saying I'm going to use it to tow something heavy. However, I'm just saying uh, if you hypothetically had a hitch mounted by carrier there are ways to make make it work with whatever vehicles you you rent from from enterprise it's a point of a big heavy vehicle that can't do the work you need it to do huh oh well that's it for now goodbye my friends and good luck